we of course have a lot to discuss um, that is about continuing to strengthen the relationship between our nations. Mongolia has been a reliable democracy and friend in the Indo-Pacific for more than three decades, and the partnership between our countries has helped to ensure stability and prosperity in the region. And the American people have a profound stake in the future of the Indo-Pacific. As a proud Pacific power, it is in our vital interest to promote an Indo-Pacific region that is open, interconnected, prosperous, secure, and resilient which is why President Biden and I have each been, since we have been in office, to the Indo-Pacific three times each. And as Vice President, I am proud that I have met with nearly three dozen regional leaders here in Washington and in the region in bilateral meetings such as this one and at multilateral summits. Since we have taken office, the President and I have made it our intention and focus to reinforce our defense and deterrence commitments, and our security presence in the region. We have provided an ambitious and affirmative economic agenda for the region that will deliver growth for the American people and the people in that region. And together with our allies and partners, we have defended international rules and norms in the region and around the world, which underpin our security and prosperity. All of this work in the Indo-Pacific is guided by a key priority of the Biden-Harris administration, which is to strengthen our alliances and partnerships in the region. Which brings me to the agenda for our meeting today, which will include, Mr. Prime Minister, the work that we will continue to do to strengthen the strategic partnership between the United States and Mongolia, the work that we will do and continue to do together to work on global challenges, which of course include the climate crisis, but also the importance of upholding democracies and human rights, and of course addressing the threats to international rules-based order. Today I am pleased to announce that the next steps in our work together will be about further expanding our partnership. In particular, we will discuss the work that we will do together to strengthen our space cooperation. You and I spoke briefly about the beginning of the next era and for you what that means in terms of your leadership and your vision for the future. And certainly strengthening our space cooperation would be a part of that agenda. Including of course using our space cooperation to think about how we strengthen the economic prosperity and development of our nations. We will also sign an open skies agreement which will open the door to direct flights between the United States and Mongolia, and we will increase support for cultural exchanges, including the, the work that you are doing in terms of English language uh, education in Mongolia. And together we will also discuss the work we will do to support Mongolia's efforts to drive economic sector and private sector economic engagement and investment in your country. All of this reflects the commitment that the United States has to our friends in Mongolia and in the region. And again, I welcome you, Mr. Prime Minister, and I look forward to our conversation. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Vice President uh, Harris, and for kind of your words, and thank you for hosting me and my delegation to the White House. So it's a great honor to meet you, uh, the first female Vice President in US history. Our two countries established diplomatic relations 1987. Since that time, our bilateral relationship has grown from strength to strength. Mongolia is best known as birthplace of Genghis Khan, mm -hmm. and for the great history of Mongol Empire and green landscapes and never-ending blue sky. In 90, uh, 1990s, and people of Mongolia voted for democracy and the market economy. And we, very proud Americans, regard as uh, an oasis of democracy. For us. So, and for us, the United States is not only our strategic tour neighbor, but also the guiding North Star on our democratic journey. I would like to take this opportunity to thank American people for their continued support and commitment to democratic our reforms and for the progress of market economy, respect for human rights and freedom. The past 30 years, our democratic journey haven't been easy. But Mongolia has been and will always be moving forward. 
Nelson Mandela once said, a winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Mongolia will keep dreaming and uh, keep fighting for our de democracy, and we will do everything we can to achieve our goals of Vision 2050 for the next 30 years. I'm looking forward to having very open and constructive talks with Vice President Harris regarding our strategic partnership, which forge closer links between our two nations and people. We will discuss uh, about high-tech solutions, including space uh, and AI, and share our insights about uh, global issues, such as climate change and geopolitical issues. During my visit, I am pleased uh, that Mongolia and the US will issue joint statement strategic neighbor uh, partnership, and we are going to sign an economic cooperation roadmap. These strategic documents will play a significant role in expanding our trade and economic cooperation and attracting more investment from the US. Mongolia economy, you know, uh, mainly based on mining sector. Uh, we have great potential in copper. Soon Mongolia will become one of the four largest copper producers in the world. Uh, copper from the Oyutla mine will not uh, benefit not only Mongolia, but also the world, uh, because and uh, uh, because uh, high-tech solutions is part of our commitment for fight against climate change. We also have great potential in all mining sectors, uh, such as tourism, and creative industries, green energy, agriculture, including Kashmir, and transport and logistics. I am very glad that U.S. commitment to supporting us and our uh, economic, uh, diversifying our economy. Mongolia is landlocked, but not mine-locked. Uh, Mongolia is one of the over 40 landlocked countries in the world. Uh, we face great challenges in terms of transport and uh, logistics. Uh, we seek your support raising these issues in the international stage. Uh, we will sign the Open Sky uh, Agreement you mentioned uh, between Mongolia and US. I am excited that we are going to commence direct flights our two countries, uh, Q2 2024. It's uh, going to be a great opportunity to promote tourism and trade, business, and investment. We have taken many steps uh, to improve our legal environment and for investment uh, and private sector partnership, including constitutional reforms and digital transformation and fight against corruption. Mongolia has just legislated uh, for English as first foreign language in secondary education. Uh, there were some challenges. It took more than 20 years to make this decision. Mm -hmm. We are confident that it's a significant step to support education for our next generation. These achievements can only be sustained through partnership with long-standing democratic countries, such as the US. In this regard, my government and Google will sign landmark agreement to promote education and digital transformation in Mongolia next week, yeah, this week. I am pleased to be uh, here on my first official visit to the U.S. as the Prime Minister. I have fond memories in my time studying in the U.S. It's great to be back. Yesterday, I walked around Georgetown, uh, where I, I used to live in dorm. So, and uh, I look forward to catching up with some of my friends. Next time, I hope to visit Cambridge and drop by Harold Kennedy School. I hope that history will record my visit this week as the start of a new chapter in our friendship and the strategic partnership. The modern vice president, thank you again for your kind hospitality and look forward to welcoming you, Mongolia. Thank you so much. It's a great honor for us. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you.